Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, and today is 4th of July, 2016, so happy 4th of July to everybody, happy Canada Day, which was earlier in the week to all our friends in Canada. Um, this is my week 116 post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. It's also probably the week I shouldn't be making a video, <laughs> but um, Monday's my day, so my uh, i'm up a pound from last week i was 202.6 last week i'm 203.6 this week which is because i'm uh um uh, not doing the things i'm supposed to do i'm not eating that much but what i'm eating is junk there has been more junk brought into this house in the last week um probably than all the probably than the other 115 weeks combined <sighs> fuck I know this is really old it's three weeks since the uh, crying video on the bridge and I'm still fucking crying and I can't stand it um, but what does that have to do with weight loss surgery well number one is how it's um, affecting me not doing what I'm supposed to do and I have to, I mean, I just have to snap out of this. I know it's boring and redundant, and I have the most patient friends and family in the world for putting up with a 50-year-old woman being this upset over something stupid. When <laughs> there are, I mean, I just, there are so many people who have real problems of which I don't. So, um, let's see. So, haven't been doing what I'm supposed to do, trying to pull myself out of it because, number one, because I have to, to um, get back on board with life. I had, um, I've had the last four days off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I think for me, these long holiday weekends, <sighs> fuck, that I don't do well because that, remember the first cry, I don't know, it's like started Memorial Day. Is this whole summer going to be crying videos? That was the Monday of Memorial Day that I did my first cry video. Um, and now it's 4th of July and I'm still crying. Let's hope that by Labor Day, I will have kicked this shit in the ass. Um, but I, yeah, have been trying, I bought, I mean, gonna be real, bought foods that are super trigger foods for me. I bought, um, sugar cookies from the grocery store which are not good for me and which were always my thing before and I don't think I really gained weight because I um, ate too much I gained weight because I I mean I still think my calories were probably less than a thousand but they weren't quality calories and I haven't drank any water and I haven't exercised at all this week and every day every night when I go to bed I'm like okay I'm gonna pull it together tomorrow And this is like the, <laughs> the what, the 20th tomorrow. I've been trying to do that. I have to tomorrow. I have to get back to work. I can't um, do what I've been doing. So anyway, that's that. What's the other thing that has to do with weight loss surgery about all this? Um, and I'm really sorry if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. <laughs> but if you are, I um, let me just do the stats real quick. I had uh, my starting weight in January of 2014, and my highest weight was 402 pounds. I had surgery on April 14th, 2014 at Kaiser South Bay, um, and I weighed 360.6 pounds, and um, today I weigh 203.6 pounds, so I've lost about 200 pounds in the last uh, two years. Oh, there's a, there is a good weight loss surgery thing that happened. Um, this week I had, I love time hop for a couple of reasons. Number one, because, um, uh, well, duh, because time hop, it's time hop and it reminds you of things that happened in the past, but the time hop on my weight loss surgery Facebook page, what I like about that is that it, uh, is that it will show me my video from the week before. So I, so I watched my video from a year ago today where I said I was just entering the mental mind fuck and Jesus I had no idea when I said that last week or last year but the one thing that popped up this year that was really quite startling and seemed like a real achievement to me was this you know I haven't hit my goal I'm more than two years post-op 
and I've been at the same weight for a while and I haven't honestly been trying that hard which is why I haven't hit my goal um but the time hop that came up was from two years ago and it was my 100 pounds lost so that means um you know I've kept 100 pounds off for two years I've kept 200 pounds off give or take a pound or two for a year and that's pretty fucking amazing um I never thought I always thought that um weight loss surgery I don't know why I'm not looking at the camera today probably because I'm embarrassed that I'm still a basket case um but uh that weight loss surgery was for someone else not for me um that I would never be able to pay for it I would never be able to get it done um but I did and then I think like so many of us say I um didn't think it would work for me it would work for everybody else but not for me but it worked for me, you know, and I've kept 100 pounds off for two years and I've kept 200 pounds off for a year. And that's pretty fucking incredible. Fuck. <laughs> and, um, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so that's a good thing. The other weight loss surgery lesson that hit me this week was, um, and this is not, uh, rocket science and I think we all talk about it at some point along the way but it hit me for the first time I mean really significantly hit me for the first time um, this week which is all those things that I thought would change when I lost weight many of them are still the same <laughs> um, that uh, life isn't perfect after you lose 200 pounds and that I'm still doing the same stupid shit in terms of relationships and always in the past I blame that on being overweight and um, I can't blame it on that this time and I have to look at the fact that like worthiness and deserving things is far deeper in my psyche than um, losing 200 pounds is going to get to. And I don't know how to... Oh, fuck. I'm not quite sure how to get there. In the past, I was thinking I've had two breakups. Well, I mean, if you count, since my son's been alive, I've had two breakups. And um, one of them was a hugely more significant relationship than this most recent one because it was with my son's dad. And the other one was with, you know, it was somebody I'd been with for like a year and a half. Uh, but I consider it less significant than this relationship with Brian. But both times those happened, um, I had my son at home. And so I had to, um, uh, I had to be a mom and I had to show up and I couldn't stay drowning in my shit how many minutes of whining have we got okay <laughs> and I don't have that anymore I mean my son is grown although he did come and bring his kitty cat over on Friday night uh so I have to find um my internal motivation to kick this shit and so this is the last day I can lay around and be miserable. Seriously, I'm saying it. Accountability to your... <laughs> to the however many people who are watching this video. I can't do this anymore. I've got to... Um, I've got to get my shit back together. And stop being whiny. But, uh... It's a little depressing thought that you get when you realize that um, <laughs> when you realize that you finally do the thing that you thought was what was keeping you from having many things in your life and you're still right back where you were before 
So, what I can't let that do, though, is take me back to where I was before 200 pounds ago. I can't let this, um, I can't let this screw up my life. I can't let this screw up my weight loss. I can't let this screw up my fitness. And, um, yeah, so that's all I got this week in terms of a goal is to try to get myself out of this. Um, and not bring you any more whining, crying videos for a while, but... Anyway, <laughs> so one thing that made me laugh, well, two things, the two things that have made me laugh in the last couple of days is yesterday, I was uh, texting Sarah and she had um, told me that she was at her parents' house and had asked me how I was doing and my response had been, because her parents, I think, when I came to visit her, sort of thought that I might be a serial killer because she only knew me through the internet, my response to her was, well, nice tell them the serial killer said hi and then about the part where she asked me if I was okay I said not really but I hope I will be soon well instead of sending that to her I accidentally sent it to Brian so <laughs> I haven't heard from him I don't know what he made out of that but hopefully he thinks I'm a secret serial killer and I'm gonna come serial kill him and the other thing was today that I got a link from Amy the rocket scientist where she she was Google searching inspirational quotes around breakups and that just cracked me up that I have brought my friends who are like super smart rocket scientist type people to Googling inspiration memes on the internet. <laughs> I love you all so much for doing that shit and I'm sorry I'm such a whiny mess and um, and and it's all going to be okay. I know it is. I just have to get get through it. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Have a good week and here's to next week. No fucking crying on my video. And maybe back down under 200. Let's see. All right. You guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.